in the name of the Father. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace and peace of God our Father, the love of Jesus Christ, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, today we we see how God calls all of us to be his disciples. Peter, in today's first reading, there's accusations made against him, and basically Peter makes the accusations against the, the leaders of the Jewish people that they put him to death. And today we see that Jesus is the good shepherd, and shepherds are needed for guidance, they're needed for times of danger. Brothers and sisters, we have a Lord that's ready to take care of us and guide us. You and I are limited, but Jesus is a shepherd. He does not sleep. And his protection is so much more than you and I can give. As we enter into this Mass, let us call to mind our sins and ask God for his mercy. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words and what I have done and what I have failed to do through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us of our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Kyrie Christe Gloria in excelsis Deo.
Let us pray. Almighty and ever-living God, lead us to a share in the joys of heaven so that the humble flock may reach where the brave shepherd has gone before, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Peter, filled with the Holy Spirit, said, Leaders of the people and elders, if we are being examined today about a good deed done to a cripple, namely, by what means he was saved, then all of you and all the people of Israel should know that it was in the name of Jesus Christ, the Nazarene, whom you crucified, whom God raised from the dead. In his name, this man stands before you healed. He is the stone rejected by you, the builders, which has become the, the cornerstone. There is no salvation through anyone else, nor is there any other name under heaven given to the human race by which we are to be saved. The word of the Lord.
a reading from the first letter of St. John. See what love the Father has bestowed on us, that we may be called the children of God. Yet so we are. The reason the world does not know us is that it did not know him. Beloved, we are God's children now. What we shall be has not yet been revealed. We do know that when it is revealed, we shall be like him, for we shall see him as he is. The word of the Lord. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Jesus said, I am the good shepherd. A good shepherd lays down his life for the sheep. A hired man who is not a shepherd and whose sheep are not his own sees a wolf coming and leaves the sheep and runs away, and the wolf catches and scatters them. This is because he works for pay and has no concern for the sheep. I am the good shepherd. I know mine and mine know me. Just as the Father knows me and I know the Father, and I will lay down my life for the sheep. I have other sheep that do not belong to this fold. These also I must lead, and they will hear my voice, and there will be one flock, one shepherd. This is why the Father loves me, because I lay down my life in order to take it up again. No one takes it from me, but I lay it down on my own. I have power to lay it down and power to take it up again. This command I have received from my Father. The Gospel of the Lord. <clears throat> when I was younger, I used to watch, when I was younger, I used to watch Wild Kingdom. Did any of you ever watch that? Mutual of Omaha's Wild Kingdom. Who was the main guy? Who was the zoologist? Marlon Perkins, good job. Marlon Perkins, the guy with white hair from Missouri. And Wild Kingdom, every week he had different animals on that show. It, it was Saturday night, I remember. And in Wild Kingdom, you know, he would describe these different animals, like lions. Lions, if you're on a horse, and if you think you're going to run away from a lion, being on a horse, you won't do it. You can't do it because lions can run up to 35 miles an hour. They can leap up to 30 feet. 
in one shot. Okay? They're, they're on top of the food chain. Now, you know, coy we got coyotes here. And coyotes, they aren't, you know, they'll, they'll probably even let you go. If there's even a group of them, they'll let you go. Now, wolves are a different matter. Even one wolf by itself might even try to come after you. Just one. In a, in a pack? Oh, you might as well just put salsa on you. Okay? You might as well just put some salsa on you. All right? It's important that we know, you know, when we're dealing with, with different entities, you know, when you're dealing with a predator, it's important that you know what they do and how they do it and why they do it. Yesterday, or last Sunday, I was at a baptism party. I was at a, I was at a baptism party last week. And th this, this man, the grandpa of the baby that was baptized, he started talking about shepherds and hunters. Let, let's go back to cats. Let's go back to the feline cats. And he was talking about jaguars. Okay, that's, you know, your panthers, jaguars, lions. Okay, and he was telling me, you, you know jaguars are like three times stronger than any man. They, they don't have the strength as a lion, but they got a lot of capabilities to climb. And he says, you know, if you're, if you're a shepherd, if you're, in, if you're in Tanzania, and if you're a shepherd, you have to know about cats. You have to know about lions. You have to know about jaguars. You have to know about those things. And he said, you know, those shepherds and hunters, let's just pretend this is a spear. And halfway up that spear, there's a horizontal bar. There's a horizontal bar halfway up that spear. And a hunter and a shepherd in Tanzania knows that if he's confronting a jaguar or even a lion, they will leap at you before they get you, before they attack you, they're going to leap at you. They're going to leap. They're going to leap. You have to know that. If you've got a spear, you know that jaguar is going to leap at you. You've got a You've got one up on him, okay? Because when he leaps, he's going to leave himself vulnerable. When a jaguar leaps, he's going to leave himself vulnerable, all right? And that's where you make the most of your opportunity. Then you stab it, but that's not it. Going to Mass, that's just not it. That jaguar will make its way up the spear to get you. That's why you got a horizontal bar here on the spear. So once you pinned him, he can't get you because there's a horizontal bar on that spear. You know, we got to know these things. Brothers and sisters, we are dealing... You know, that, who does the wolf represent in today's gospel? Who does the wolf represent? Who, do, who does the wolf represent? Satan. Oh, Father Tony, stop talking about Satan and evil. I, I just want to hear you talk about love and goodness and kindness. Okay, I understand that. But you... I mean, Jesus talks more about hell than he does heaven. We got to know these things. If I think that, I, if I just think that I provide for my family, I got a good job, I got a good house, and I've done my job, 
I've arrived. I've arrived. You know, Christianity, if you're baptized, you've got salsa on you. You've just put salsa on you if you were baptized. That means that there's an evil entity that's ready to get rid of you, that can't stand you. All right? And if you're going to be a Christian, if you ignore that, you're going into the jungle of Tanzania without knowing anything about being a shepherd or hunting. You don't know, you are going to get it. You're going to get it real good. You won't last long at all. And to think that we can be naive about certain tactics of the enemy, why well, went to mass on Sunday? But that's not it. That jaguar is going to make its way up the spear. During the week, there's other ways. Because when we're dealing with evil, brothers and sisters, we're dealing with principalities, as Scripture says, principalities and dominions that go beyond our understanding and our abilities. We have to know things, and we have to initiate things. We have to know and initiate. Okay? So as a priest, I'm here, I'm like a scout. I'm like a scout. I'm here to bring you to Jesus, but you know what? And I can even, you know what? Part of this is I can go as a shepherd, as, well, you're a shepherd, Father Tony. You're called to protect us like Jesus, okay? I'm going to go outside your house tonight, and I'm going to stand outside your house. You'll probably call the cops on me after a while. You see, I can only stand outside one person's house. As a human being, as a, as a shepherd, I am limited. I am limited. I don't, I've only got so much time and I'm going to fall asleep. I'm going to fall asleep. Jesus, the good shepherd, that's the one you want to follow. That's the one that's always going to be with you. I'm, I'm going to die. They're going to move me in a couple years. But Jesus is always going to be with you. Heck, even the people you're sitting next to are going to die. They probably won't be with you on your deathbed. I got to kind of shout because that's the way it works in this church. Okay, the echoes a little bit. Because if, if I talk like this and that, it's, I don't think the message is going to go very well. Okay? So we see here, brothers and sisters, that we are, as Christians, we are called to live in this world. You're living in this world, and you have decided to become a Christian. You have decided... You have taken upon yourself matters that sometimes we don't even think about. All right? You've taken upon yourself to be a follower of Christ and to spread his message. Well, I'm not ordained. I'm not a nun. It don't matter. You're a follower of Christ. And so as followers of Christ, we're to proclaim the good news. And Jesus, the good shepherd, he's there with us to guide us. I can help you as a priest shepherd. I can administer sacraments to you. I can anoint you. I can hear your confession. But Jesus is that good shepherd that's always going to be with you.
If we could say the Nicene Creed together. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, life from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Things were made for us men and for our salvation. He came down from heaven. Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. And I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Trusting in the Lord's love and care for us, let us bring before him our prayers and petitions. For church leaders, may the Lord grant them wisdom and humility in shepherding his flock on the path of holiness. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the salvation of all people, may the Holy Spirit lead all hearts to repentance for sin and trust in God's mercy and forgiveness. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who are ill, may Christ heal them in body and spirit and comfort them with his presence, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all members of our faith community, may the Good Shepherd help us to love one another as he loves us. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all the poor souls in purgatory, especially those who have no one else to pray for them, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For Tim McCrate, for whom this Mass is being offered, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For an end to the evil of pornography and human trafficking, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those intentions we hold in the silence of our hearts and those written in our book of St. Monica. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, Hear these prayers we ask humbly brought before you and answer them in accordance with your divine providence. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this wine to offer, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become for us our spiritual drink.
Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and for all his holy church. Grant, we pray, O Lord, that we may always find delight in these paschal mysteries, so that the renewal constantly at work within us may be the cause of our unending joy through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, right. it is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but and this time, above all, to laud you yet more gloriously, when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. For with the old order destroyed, a universe cast down is renewed, and integrity of life is restored to us in Christ. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise and even the heavenly powers <clears throat> with the angelic host sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and, once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me.
the mystery of faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit, Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Dennis, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our day that, by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ, for the, for the kingdom, kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. 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 Peace be with you.
Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall.
Let us pray. Look upon your flock, kind shepherd, and be pleased to settle in eternal pastures the sheep you have redeemed by the precious blood of your Son, who lives and reigns forever and ever. The deadline for Emmanuel Music Fund scholarship applications is this weekend. Please submit your completed forms to our Director of Music, Michelle Carner, or to the office. Today at 1 p.m. in the church, we will be having the second talk of the three-part series on the Eucharist. The session will begin with adoration. The talk will be on Jesus and the Jewish roots of the Eucharist, given by yours truly. It will conclude with benediction and a question and answer session. Next Sunday at 1 p.m., the final talk on the Eucharistic series will be given by Father Patrick on the Eucharistic Heart of Jesus and Everyday Evangelization. For those staying for the talk today, there will be a sausage and egg sandwich over at the uh, school building. In addition to being Donut Sunday, coffee and donuts will also be over there. St. Joseph will host potluck, a potluck in the parish center after the 4.30 p.m. Mass on Saturday, April 27th. Bring a side dish to share. Fr fried chicken and drinks will be provided. And finally, in the charity of your prayers, please remember Rosemary Taylor, who died last week. Rosemary was a longtime parishioner of Emmanuel. Her sweet smile and gentle spirit will be missed. Eternal rest grant unto her, O Lord. And let perpetuate shine upon her. May she rest in peace. Amen. May her soul and the souls of all the faithful departed through the mercy of God rest in peace. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth. The Mass has ended. Thanks be to God. Uh, right.